A former ad executive now picking up trash at Starbucks. But don't feel sorry for Michael Gates Gill. He turned his economic problems into a popular book and engagements as a motivational speaker. But he still shows up for work at Starbucks at 5 a.m. CNN's Lola Oganaki has the story. He's always cheerful, he's always funny. You can make a latte, <laughs> yes. He is quite a character, yes. How did you end up as a barista at Starbucks? Well, first of all, I was fired. You were designing commercials. You were creating uh, massive ad campaigns right. for huge companies. Yeah. And now you're sweeping floors and changing yeah. milk? And the, and the biggest surprise is that in just sweeping up like uh, this piece of paper or getting this thing here, that there's a enjoyment. If I should take a notion. My life is my own. I mean, I say I open at 5 a.m., but by noon or 1 o'clock I can walk out and I have all those hours. And I'm not thinking about internal corporate politics. My job is to keep them fresh and make sure that the whole condiment bar itself is clean. Okay, For example, so, the, so there's milk here. Yeah. So you look at this condiment bar and you're like, I've yeah. got to clean this up. That's right. Stirring sticks are, people love these. Now, by the way, I'm still struggling with making the ideal drink. And I was, but I, I'm a good cleaner. I can clean the, you know, I can sweep. I can clean the toilet. I really make it sparkle like a Ferrari. You get a mug award, and what it is is the person with, with you, the shift manager or one of your other partners can say, boy, Mike, you did a great job taking out the garbage, or Mike, you really did a, a good job connecting with a, with a guest today. All these awards are almost constant stream of encouragement for positive whatever you're doing that day. It makes you feel good. If someone called you today and said, we want you to be the CEO yeah. of this advertising agency, yeah. we're going to pay you half a million dollars a yeah. year. Yes and you're making $10 at Starbucks, yeah. you mean to tell me that you would stay at Starbucks making $10 an hour? Yes, because I know the price. Price is you have to give up your life. 12 hour days, 20 hour days. The little detail is you never stop thinking about that job. But you've heard that Starbucks is actually closing some yes. stores and laying off people. Yeah. What if it happens to you again? Well, if it happened to me again, I'd be much more relaxed because it turned out to be a gift in disguise last time. And I realize that whatever happens externally, because you can't control whether you're going to be fired or whether stocks go up or down, what you can control is your internal happiness. Well, the even better news is Oscar award-winning actor Tom Hanks has plans to produce and star in a film about Michael Gill's life. Gus Van Sant has already agreed to direct, and Michael Gill couldn't be any happier. He told me that he may have a part-time job, but he has a full-time life. Lolo Ganaki, CNN, New York.